Hi, my name is Hi-Rez Ethan, and this is Global Agenda Boot Camp Lesson Number 2, Dome City. I'll be showing you how to navigate the city, as well as key places to go that you will need to further your character within the game. First of all, the navigational kiosks are a great way to start getting where you need to go. They'll give you directions via a blue arrow to the various stores I will be describing in this video, and they're scattered all over Dome City for your convenience. There are, also, there are also mission kiosks within the game that allow you to access your missions, but assuming you don't want to do that, you can simply press M by default to immediately access a mission menu and to get started. In Dome City, there are several sectors. The market sector, which has many of the shops you can visit as well as a crafting area. The technology sector, which allows you to change your hairstyle as well as alter the skills your character currently has. The virtual reality arena, allowing you to practice your combat skills without the pressure of winning or losing. And the transport sector, which allows you to visit various domes. Of course, the most important thing you can do in Dome City is shop. Buying weapons, armor, cosmetics, and even haircuts can help you become more powerful or just look really cool. One of the most important shops in the game will be your very own class shop. This is to the right, just as you enter the city. You'll notice that each class has their own shop. Uh, with, with credits, you may purchase the common versions of your weapons, offhands, jetpacks, and team boosts. With mercenary tokens, you may purchase the epic versions of these weapons, and with conquest tokens, you may purchase the newest epic weapons release. These last few will give you weapons that are different from the usual assortment, with some various changes that maintain the balance while allowing you to have a bit more power. Remember, weapons can also be found in loot drops, varying in power and rarity, so play plenty of missions to make sure you get all the weapons you can. The next shop you will want to visit when you level is the Proteus Skill Shop. This shop allows you to re relocate your skill points so that you can prepare for whichever mission is thrown at you. Be sure to find the best skill matchups for your particular mission type, be it PvE, PvP, AVA, or otherwise. It costs nothing to change it up, so feel free to try it all out and find out what works best for you. Hawk Suits and Armor allows you to alter the way your character looks, as well as give your character more powerful armor to protect yourself with. Note that anything that appears cosmetically on your character's armor is only cosmetic, and that the only armor changes that matter on a stat level are your actual armor upgrades. To augment the changes to your appearance, you can go to the die store just next door. The dies, like the armor, are both based entirely on what level you are, so the higher in level you get, the more choices you will have for customizing the way you look in the world. The Prototyping Center allows you to use blueprints you found in missions, or even buy some blueprints. You can make items, buy repair kits to repair the items you already have, or work on enhancing your armor here. This is a great way to make money in Dome City, as crafters are always sought after, and in generally is a good way to prepare for AVA as well. You will notice on the technology side that there are shops for altering your hair, and soon there will be even more ways to alter your character. There is also the Agency Center. And this is vital for AVA missions. It's here you will make the appropriate purchases for arming yourself for combat with other alliances. The mail house is in the market sector. Eh, yeah, well no, I guess we're not gonna... The mail house is in the market sector, and this is where you will pick up all pertinent messages from other players and occasionally admins. There's also a fully functioning auction house for selling any of the items you find and making some extra cash. You can find this in the market sector just across from the mail and crafting section of the market sector. Some other interesting things about Global Agenda that may help you out while you're here are your friends list. You can reach your friends list by pressing escape and clicking friends, or just using the F3 key. This is a great way to keep in touch with your friends or to keep your enemies you plan on betray closer. To reach the settings of the game, you can press escape and click here. This allows you to do a lot of cool things like change the graphical intensity of the game through your video menu, alter the sound, the controls, your chat preferences, and even do some neat things like see the uh, see the dyes that your allies or even your enemies are wearing. And finally, the most important aspect of the game in its entirety, the ability to moonwalk, or any other number of other emotes you can use in the game. Um, these are a great way of expressing your feelings, uh, you know, celebrating victory, or just showing off to your friends. Well, this about wraps up the boot camp for now. Thanks for watching, and remember, slash Kong now, slash Kong often.